Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to talk about chemical indicators. We've already created our artificial cell, and now we need to work with indicators in order to determine if any of these molecules have diffused across the cell membrane in our setup. We're going to use two different indicators. We're going to use starch indicator solution, which is actually iodine, and we're going to use a glucose indicator solution, which is Benedict's solution. You need to read the procedures for the use of each of these indicators. Now we're going to move into the back and fill out table two, which determines what happens when you use these indicators in distilled water, starch, and glucose. In this part of the lab, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the starch indicator, which is iodine, and the glucose indicator, which is Benedict solution. We're going to use the glucose indicator first to see what happens when you put it in distilled water, starch solution, and glucose solution. You use the Benedict solution by putting 10 drops into the test tube and then putting it in the hot water bath. So 1, 2, 10, and you'll see that it's a blue color. Let's go ahead and add the Benedicts to each one of these and then we'll put them in the hot water bath all at once. 1, 2, and 10, and the last one glucose solution 1 to 10. So notice this indicator does not just react at room temperature. All of these have a bluish color and need to be heated in order to see if there is a reaction. So now we're going to put these into the hot water bath for two minutes and see what the results are. Remember when you're working around the hot water bath you have to have on goggles. We're going to put the glucose indicator into the hot water bath. We're going to put the glucose indicator in starch into the hot water bath and we're also going to put the glucose indicator in the glucose solution into the hot water bath. You need to heat it up for at least two minutes. If glucose is present in any of these test tubes we should see a change. Now if you look carefully we're beginning to get a change in the test tube here which is the glucose. There's a yellow greenish rust color precipitin that is forming and is clearly different from the other test tubes. That is a positive reaction. Notice that the test tube with the starch solution there's no reaction the test tube with the distilled water, no reaction. Now we need to complete table two by using the starch indicator solution, iodine. So let's start with the distilled water. You place 10 drops into the distilled water and agitate it. This indicator does not have to be heated. Now let's do the starch indicator in the starch solution. You'll see there's an immediate reaction with only one or two drops agitate it and there's a reaction. Now we're going to put the starch indicator into the glucose solution and there's no reaction. So to fill out table two here is distilled water and starch indicator. I would say no reaction. Here is the starch solution and starch indicator and I would say a positive reaction dark blue color and here's the glucose solution and starch indicator and I would say no reaction. So now we're ready to look at our setup. Depending on how long you've left your setup, your setup may still have some amber color outside the beaker or all of the iodine may have diffused into the cell. Either way, we can tell which way iodine has diffused by what happened to the starch. The inside of both of these cells has turned blue, which is an indication that the iodine has reacted with the starch. We know also that the starch did not diffuse out of the cell because the outside of the cell would be blue, and that did not happen. The only thing left to determine is what happened to the glucose. So what we need to do to complete part one of this diffusion lab is we need to check to see if there is glucose outside of the cell. To do that, you take a test tube, you take a sample from the beaker using a dropper, you can put a good three quarters of an inch into there, and then you add your Benedict's solution. Now this indicator 
needs to be heated. So you have to add it to the hot water bath. Make sure you're wearing your goggles. This will indicate whether glucose was able to diffuse through the membrane. And as you can see, we're just beginning to get a reaction. It's just beginning to turn a little bit green and that is an indication that glucose is present. We now have all the information we need to complete part one of the diffusion lab. I hope that was helpful.